Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. I'm just making this video for the free accounting software users to show you guys how to finalize your payroll using free accounting software. So I've done one video and I showed the main part or the basics of how to finalize the pay. In this video, I want to cover um, one aspect that can sometimes happen, and that is when you have finalized it, um, but you figured out that that was wrong. So in this example, I mean, I'm just following on from the previous video. I lodged this um, batch here where I finalized uh, the pay using an update event. Um, let's say you then realized, hey, hang on, there was something wrong on that. So if I go into that batch, um, let's go to one of the pay slips. Let's say that um, you actually realized this year to date figure um, is incorrect. So I guess then you have to go and figure out, well, why is that incorrect? And uh, let's say you found out that there was a, um, a, a transaction that was missed. So there was a payment made to the employer, but it was not entered into the uh, payroll software. So um, first thing you have to do is actually add that um, um, pay slip in. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. Um, now let's say this was a pay in May that was uh, um, accidentally missed. Probably wouldn't call this missed pay, you'd probably call it um, ending. And on May, then go to the transactions and add the add a pay slip for the missed payment. So the employee, uh, let's say it was just uh, three hours of work that was missed, and um, so one hundred and fifty dollars all up and no tax deducted. Um, now, if I scroll down to the um, year to date amounts, we've got the gross amount of 150, which is just the amount from this um, payslip, because this is actually the first um, or the earliest um, payslip in the financial year. Um, so that is the year to date as at the 31st of May. So I'll save that. Um, and then you would, I, th I think you would, in this circumstance, you would need to go and lodge that, although I'm not really trying to address that specific um, issue in this um, video. Now, if I go back to the batch list, um, um, the next thing you would do is you would um, create a new update batch. So, um, before I do that, though, I'll, I want to point out one thing. So if we go to the second pay, so this is the one we've just entered. If we go to the second pay, um, we'll see that. All right, well, that's the the other employee. Um, so let's go to the um, third pay. So if we go to this pay slip here, this is on a lodged batch, okay? So if we scroll down to the year to date figures, it says gross amount 1900, um, which is just the amount um, that's on this pay slip. Okay, so um, this year to date amount has not updated to add the $150 that we entered dated earlier than this. This pay slip, these figures here, it's a record of what was lodged, okay? You don't want it to change. So it won't actually um, change. Anyway, um, we've got the um, $150 payment entered on this payslip over here. So when we do the new finalization, um, it should um, calculate the new amount. Let's just have a quick look at the previous finalized figure. So going into this payslip, um, 
we've got the gross amount of $5,700. Okay, now let's go and create a, uh, a, a batch to finalize and correct previous finalization. So it's just done in the exact same way. So we're doing an update event and that should be done with all the dates the same. Payment date, from date and to date all equal to the last day of the financial year. Um, and this is exactly the same as the first time we did the finalization of the pay, which I showed you in the previous video. So, so let me just call this finalization attempt to there's probably better names to call the batch. So let's go to transactions and do pay slip. Again, we're just doing exactly the same thing as we did on the previous in the previous video. So I'm selecting the employee, it's just going to be a zero dollar pay slip. So I'm selecting this pay slip line and deleting the line. Now if I scroll down to the um, pay event info, the year to date amounts, you can see that the gross amount is 5850, which is the um, which is what uh, we'd expect because on the previous finalization it was 5700, we added $150 payment and now it's 5850. That is correct. Now all we have to do is set final pay to true, save that, and then we can go and lodge this single touch payroll. That will overwrite the, um, the record that the ATO has uh, previously received and um, update them with the new corrected figure. Now you could do that um, several times if it took several times to get it right. It's the last lodgement that is is going to be used by the ATO. So you know, lodge is just done by going to the STP lodge page. Um, you scroll down to the bottom here, tick the declaration box, and um, and select your machine printing tool, put in the password. And just like the previous, in the previous video where we first did the first finalization of this uh, payroll, um, it's a zero, it's all zero, zero dollar payslip. So there's no lodge STP batch button. It's in, called an update event and you would click update STP batch. Okay. Um, yeah. So that is how you would um, redo your uh, finalization of the uh, payroll if you had made a mistake on the first attempt. Okay, I hope the video has been useful and thanks for watching.